Wow, welcome to my channel today. This is The King's Tutor. Okay, if you are just joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share this video. Okay, today we want to look on accounting and we want to see the control accounts. Okay, now most persons have come to my DM to tell me I should um, talk more or um, treat the topic control account. Now, what is control account? Now, Control account is an account which contains the summary or total of entries in the individual accounts in, the, in each ledger. Now what this means is that control account is a memorandum account that um, carries all individual accounts to itself. For instance, as a businessman you um, or if you have a company, definitely you must buy force from some persons and also sell to your customer. So those persons you buy from in order to either convert the raw materials into finished goods or to either distribute to your customer, they are known as your creditors. So what you prepare on behalf of them is the purchases ledger. Okay, you prepare because definitely if you're, for instance, into um, production of, um, let's say, bread, for instance, you must buy flour, you must buy sugar, and other things they used to make that okay so you see that you have to prepare individual accounts for um, the person you're buying flour from you prepare for those you're buying sugar from you prepare for those you're buying butter from and all that so once you have numerous um, creditors it becomes difficult to locate um, errors okay the same way to your customer so definitely if you're buying and you're producing, converting this to um, um, finished goods, definitely you have to sell to your what? Customer. So once you sell to your customer, you have numerous customers, you also have to prepare individual accounts for them. Those your customers are known as your what? Debtors. Okay? So once um, you have numerous customers, it will be difficult to locate errors. So that is why control accounts came into place. In order to what? To put this individual account under one heading, okay. So you see, you buy from um, your your um, rich, um, you buy from your wholesalers, which is known in accounting as a creditor, and you sell to your customer, which is known as a what debtors, okay. So you see, the control account helps to what to give um, to prepare a total account for this set of persons. So instead of preparing individual accounts of all those you buy from. You prepare a memorandum, you put them under one heading and get the total and transfer it there. The same thing happens to your customer. Instead of preparing individual accounts for each customer, you prepare a memorandum account and post, get the total of each and post it there. With that, it is easier to work, to locate errors and detect fraud. Okay, so that is what we mean by we say it's an account which contains the summary or total of entries in the individual accounts in each ledger. Okay, that means all individual accounts are posted there. Now, the control account performs the same function of a trial balance to a ledger. Now, what does it mean? What does trial balance perform to a ledger? It tests the arithmetical accuracy of a ledger, okay, to show if there was what a proper posting. Okay, so the control account, as it were, have two books. We have two types of control accounts. The first one, is the sales ledger control account or which is known as the debtors while the second one is the purchases ledger control account which is known as the word creditors okay so the sales ledger contains all the things that concerns your customer those you're selling to everything that concerns them you post it there while the purchases ledger con um, contains all the things that concerns those you're buying from okay now i want to take them um one after the other now the sales ledger control account, as I said earlier on, this is um, one of the type of control account. We said it contains all the items that concise debtors alone. Okay, as you can see, it has the debit and the credit side. Now the debit side, this is a format. The debit side contains the item that will increase the debt of the debtors. I'll repeat it again. The debit side. Of the control um, sales ledger control account is also known as debtors control account. It contains all the items that will increase the debt of the 
debtors. Why the credit side contains items that will in decrease the debt of the debtors. Okay, that is the rule there. The debit side contains items that will increase the debt of the debtor. Why the credit side contains items that will what? Reduce the debt. For instance, let's take an analysis of the individual item. Now, the balance brought forward. Now, on the thing I have to say, now, whenever you're given a question in um, control account and you're asked to solve and they are silent, they just gave you the balance brought forward, just post it to the debit side. All debtors have a debit balance. Okay? So, it should be posted there. Now, the credit sales. Now, we said items that are what? At the debit side contains what will increase their debt. Okay? Now, credit sales, it means that the debtors bought on credit. They did not pay. Okay? So, if they did not pay, it means their debt to what will add up. That is why it's a debit note issued. What is debit note? Now, this is um, a note written to um, a customer in order to increase their indebtedness. Okay? The money they already own, in order to increase it. Okay? So that is why it is here. This honor check. Now, what is this honor check? It is check that was paid previously by the customer. But on getting to the bank, it was dishonored, probably by irregular signature or no amount, uh, no money in the uh, account or amount in words differs from amount in um, figure. Okay, so these are items that increases the debt. Now, on the credit side, are items that reduces the debt. For instance, we have cash from customer. Once a customer already has um, a debt of, let's say, 10000 and he pays cash, of five thousand, the money that is due that is still remaining is what five thousand. It means it has reduced the debt. Okay, once they receive cash from customer, it reduces the debt. Another one, check for the customer. The same thing. Once um, a, a seller receives a check from its customer, definitely it tends towards reduce our debt. The return inwards. What is return inwards? The goods being returned by the customer back to the seller. Okay, once customer return goods back to the seller. It tends to reduce their debt. Why? Because the amounts they are supposed to be owed will, what, will be lesser with the, what, the amounts of the goods they return back. Okay? So, bad debt, discount allowed, credit notes issued. All this reduces the debt of the debtor. So, whenever you want to post or solve a question relating to a control account, you should ask yourself, analyze it first. Is this item consigning the debtors? If it is yes, now the first thing you do is is it increasing their debt or decreasing their debt? If it is increasing their debt, then you post to the debit side. But if it is reducing the debt, then you post to the credit side. Okay? That is about the sales ledger. Another thing is the purchases ledger control account. Now, the purchases ledger control account will said it contains items that concern the creditors only. That is those you are buying from. Okay? So, the debit side... It also has a debit and a credit side. The debit side contains what the creditor receive, what they are receiving, while the credit side contains what they are giving out. Okay? In the same way, if a creditor has an opening balance and a question is silent on where to post, post it to the credit side because all creditors have a credit balance. Okay? Except, especially in WIEC, except they detect and they tell you Okay, opening balance, um, probably the hospital the debtors and the creditors figure as at 1st January and they tell you debit or credit. That is when you will respect their opinion. But when they are silent, all creditors have a credit balance. Okay, so we said items on the debit side are what they receive. Now we have cash to suppliers. The suppliers receiving cash, so it should be debited. Check to supplier. Suppliers receiving check, so it should be debited. The return outward. Now, what are return outward? It means those goods are returned to the supplier. Okay, to them is return outwards. Okay, so since they are getting the goods back, so it's coming back. That's why they are receiving the goods. So that's why it's debited. Credit notes receive. Okay, the credit notes. These are notes that want to increase um, um decrease the money that is owed by the um, um debtor or the supplier. So the credit note received, 
since they are receiving a credit note, it is being what debited to them. This can receive they receive a discount. Contract entry. Okay, let me talk about this contract entry. Now, this contract entry it is also here. Contract entry. Now, it means a contract entry exists when a supplier is also a customer. And what does this mean? It means that um, probably two persons transact business and they buy from each other. Okay, where a supplier is also what a customer. So if or you see that in the question, it is the same value. The creditor's account is always credited with the amount, while the creditor's account is debited with the amount. Take note. Okay. Also have bills payable. These are all the items received by the creditor. Why the credit side are what the creditors gives out. Okay. We have our credit purchases. Now, if they are purchasing, it means that. They are what they are giving out. Okay, they are giving the quotes out. This can receive withdrawn cash with funds. Okay, so those are the rules guiding um, the sales ledger and the purchases ledger. Okay, as I've said earlier on, the sales ledger contains items for debtors only. The purchase ledger contains items for what creditors only. The debit side of the sales ledger contains what. Um, Increases their debt. What takes their debt to another level? While the credit side contains what reduces their debt for the um, creditors, the debit side contains what they receive. While the credit side contains what they want to give up. So, so the, the control account. Most times, it is better once you're giving a question, you prepare the table and post at the same time. It will be easier for you. Okay. So in the next video, we'll see a question on how to bring a practical question and solve this okay so if you're just joining us please kindly comment um, share like and subscribe to this video so it's go viral okay i tend to share it to those that are offering accounting in high institution those offering accounting in YEG, jam and all that thank you very much and we'll see you